Wake up, Waylon, wake up. Come on, you great drunken oaf. This isn't funny. No, everything is not okay. I can't wake any of these men up. They keep muttering things. Strangely similar things, as though they're all sharing the same dream. Makes no sense. I've heard rumors of men affected like this. Lulled into sleep by a strange force, never to awaken again. They just lie there, empty, as though their soul just up to left somewhere. I don't know what to do. That's my husband there. My Waylon. I don't know what I'd do without him. Well, I ain't going to turn you down. Anything to get my Waylon back. I should warn you, though. A warrior named the Raptor came here before you and offered to help. He terrified me. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I gave him a restless sleep potion, an old recipe I learned from a witch some time ago. She said it would let me visit the world of dreams, whatever that means. He drank it and then seemed to fade away to somewhere else. You'll need to drink it as well if you want to catch up with him. I'm not afraid to say that I fear the raptor. He hears stories about him. His solution for a problem is to destroy everything linked to it. That's not who I want saving my husband. Protect my Waylon, would you? I know he's a drunkard, but he's my drunkard. You'll need this if you want to follow the raptor and Waylon. If it has the effect I think it will, you'll enter some kind of dream world. Then make sure you get to Waylon before the raptor does. under the sea, in the home of my sisters. In that home, I found moments to sing. But I knew, if my sisters heard me, they would roll up some kelp and force it into my mouth. So I learned to sing quietly. One night, my sisters were out hunting. I swam from my home and came upon a village on the edge of the sea. There were so many which makes it easier to find you. <sighs> if you're... If you're here to stop me, then you have a problem. And that problem is standing in front of you. <laughs> it's too late to save Wayland. Come 
come to me, my men. Gather to hear my story. Only thing left to do is kill her. Keep your distance. Don't try to stop me. So I sang an old mermaid song, and the men on the docks listened. on the dock heard my song, and I could see the adoration on their faces. I drank it all in, but then they stepped into the sea. None of the men made an effort to swim, and they drowned. I lifted the dead bodies back onto the land. I could barely swim home with the sorrow. My sisters taunted me. Even the town changed its name to Witch Haven, as if to remind me of what I had done. If any of you touch her, I'll kill you. I should warn those men, but I could only think of their adoring looks and the effect they had on me. So I swam for the town again. This time, I climbed onto the land and sang for the men of the fields. There was no water to drown in, and they looked at me with such love.
found new songs. I found I could affect men in other ways. approached the furious soul. It screamed as if on fire. I tried to soothe it with song, but still it seethed. So I cried a tear, and the water extinguished the fire. 